G'day mates. Um, I just wanted to demonstrate something that I've made today, which is basically a data capture app for the Gen MDM. So the Gen MDM is basically a MIDI interface that sits in between a piece of software like Ableton Live and a Sega Mega Drive or a Sega Genesis. And the idea is that we can simply play MIDI data from live or from some other software and then um, the Sega Genesis hardware responds by playing back those MIDI notes um, through its sound chip. And so that's all well and good if you want to have hardware playback. But what I've made is an app that actually captures all of the data that the Gen MDM uses to control the Sega Mega Drive. And so the idea is that not only can we have hardware playback of our MIDI sequence material via the Sega, but we could also generate a .vgm file, which is basically um, you know, a, a data storage file for register writes that go to sound chips. And so we could have the same sound playback on hardware, but also the exact same sound hardware registers being emulated by a .vgm player. So let's check it out. Okay, so I've got my Ableton Live set here and I've just got a basic demo song that I've sequenced and it uses both the FM chip inside of the Sega as well as the um, PSG chip. And so obviously if you want more info on those um, there's a lot of info on smspower.org and what I'm going to do is going to first of all just play back that MIDI data from live through the Sega hardware. But at the same time as I'm playing it back, you'll see that my capturing, my VGM capturing software up here is going to be actually counting those register writes and is going to be um, storing them as well. And that way we can emulate the exact same sounds in the future by saving that and playing back that file. So first of all, let's have a listen to the demo song via the Sega hardware. Okay, so that's the music as played back via the Sega hardware, but in fact, my VGM data capturing software has also captured all of those sound register writes as data. And so what I can do is I can just copy and paste that data into a data file and I'm going to save off that data file somewhere we'll call it Sega test dot VGM and then I can go and find that dot VGM file and I should be able to play back this file using VGM playback software so in my, my case, I'm going to be using audio overload. And there you have it. So there's something a little bit meta about generating um, 
music data that's played back simultaneously on both music hardware and um, can be emulated via software in the future as well. Um, I think as an idea it's quite interesting and there's a few practical sort of applications that I can think of in terms of um, writing music for um, let's say Genesis cartridges or um, distributing Genesis music via .vgm files that have been written in sequence and that wasn't live. Anyway, thanks for listening and tread your own path.